the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight.
I want you to have this. Good night. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Where did the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy? I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, Dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. <laughs> and for serious. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. No need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait. To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, a... It was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. But other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh... Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? like that. Anything I can do to help? 
There's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? You ain't getting rid of me that easy. The killer ain't the only one I've got a favor to repay. You guys saved my life. I made up my mind to risk my life for you guys. And that's all there is to it. I'll do my best. 